Alright guys, and welcome back to Night City. Alright, we just got done with Doc Vic Vega, or sorry, Vic Vega, <laughs> Vic Vector. <laughs> this isn't Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Ooh, look. What's up, creepy cat? I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. Anything red. <sighs> Thanks, Misty. You're the best. And your aura. It needs V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. Okay. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tag hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. But you are not the masters of your memories! For your eyes do not belong to you, or rather... Not only to you. Net running, charge jump, jeez. Overheating, overheating. NCPD. Oh, that guy's undercover. New episode every Wednesday. <laughs> Yo. Nailed it. 
Ooh, suit jacket. Okay. Wait. Oh, something tells me it's... Something tells me they're friends. <laughs> Looks like their friends have come to play. Got me a new jacket, so let's see what that's about. It's bigger than this. <laughs> okay. What else do I got? No, oh, that weren't. <laughs> well, hang on. Let me. Let me see. Yeah, no, not wearing that. Yeah, no, not wearing that. <laughs> Suit jacket really ain't my style. I'll go back to the Hey guy. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Uh. Yeah. Is there a third option? Is this some sort of test? Is some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. Alright, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. All right. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this... prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm hmm. Arasaka. <laughs> Surely that's no problem. It's kind of like a death sentence, isn't it? No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. B? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We Nobody. understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue with Maelstrom? What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shot. 
I thought that was a colloquialism. Slot in the shard. Classic tale <laughs> for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Cause if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, cause Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the woman? Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that Frazzle Cat's info. Send it now. Hmm, Frazzle Cat? Tell me about the client. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway. Our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. No, I need, I think. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. <laughs> Ganymede Street. Can't get over that name. One more thing, Mr. B. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? How about... Rich and forever. Later now. Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Ooh. Wants to check us out, see if we got what it takes. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha! <laughs> Hang on. Then there's the other thing. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the time. Must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? I say we go to Maelstrom first. I say we knock on Maelstrom's door first. Pound, actually. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. See the ride. <laughs> Uh, 
Mr. V, just wanted to remind you again that Eddie's have already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners in biz. Around some of 10,000, to be precise. So when you're there to take off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down, as they're liable to do. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. We'll see you next time. Peace!